So this is a quick follow-up to my previous video on Vimium, which is an extension for Chrome, Chromium, and Firefox that allows you to use key bindings in your browser to navigate around web pages. Now, this video is just gonna be real quick. Um, just wanted to point this out. Uh, not gonna even really edit it, so forgive the camera movements and stuff. But this is on a, a Chromebook. Unfortunately, this, function, this feature uh, doesn't seem to be available in, in Chrome itself. If you are in Chrome, I think if you hit, uh, just go to settings and search keyboard, and there's a list of keyboard shortcuts. On a Chromebook, most of your keyboard settings, uh, keyboard shortcuts, are going to be Chrome keyboard shortcuts because you're using Chrome, Chrome OS. Um, but I found this neat little thing uh, recently, and I thought I'd share it, and I wish that the regular Chrome browser had this functionality built in. But if you look here, I'll move the camera in here and focus. If on a Chromebook you go in your browser to Chrome colon forward slash forward slash keyboard overlay, it brings up this page in your settings. So let's back up here, zoom in a little bit and try to focus. There we go. And I just thought this was really neat because instead of having a list of keyboard shortcuts that you can search through, if you don't know what you're looking for and you're just trying to learn new keyboard shortcuts, it has this overlay. So uh, this is the keyboard here, but on the physical keyboard, if I was to press shift, it now shows what keys go with shift or control is a better option because it has more things here. But if I hit control, it tells me if I hit the... Um, the one key, it's going to go to the first tab. If I hit the two key, it's going to go to the second tab, three, four. If I hit W, now it's going to close the window. A is select all, S is save. A lot of these are common control keys. H is history, G is find again. F, uh, so this again, this, these are all with control. So control F is find text. So a lot of these are Chrome, you know, specific uh, keyboard shortcuts. Now, if I now hold down, keep holding down control and hit alt, now it's showing keys that open up uh, that, that function when you hit control alt. So for example, on a Chromebook, and again, this isn't going to happen in Chromium, if I hit control alt and T, it's going to open up a new terminal because you can get a shell on, on it uh, on a Chromebook. Uh, change touch HUD mode. I don't know what that is, but if I hit control alt I, it will change that. If I hit control alt P, it's going to show touch pointer. Now, if I let go of control, now I can see, okay, if I hit alt and F, uh, alt and one, two, three, four, it's going to shelve an item. Uh, uh, alt and our dash or minus key is going to minimize. Alt and plus is going to maximize. And so I can see what these are. I can hit shift control and I can see if I hit shift control Q it's going to sign me out shift control W is going to close a window shift control R is reload bypass cache if I hit um, shift and alt these are the keys so shift and alt and T is going to focus on the toolbar shift and alt and I is going to report an issue if I hit shift control Alt, you're getting the idea. Here's only two keys. I can hit uh, my uh, button up here, which is a rotate screen, which is normally your refresh button, it looks like. And then over here, um, control, it says keyboard overlay. I wonder if that's what this is. Let's see. No, that's, that's weird because just, I don't know why it's saying that because control and alt brings that up. So normally if you hit control alt and the question mark or forward slash, it's going to bring up a list of your keyboard shortcuts uh, under different categories and you can search through them, which is normally how we do it, but I really like this overlay because now again I can, I can hit alt and see all these different keys and what they do without knowing what I'm looking for, I can learn something new. So very cool functionality, again only seems to be, it doesn't seem to be in your uh, Chrome browser on your desktop or whatnot, just on a um, Chrome OS Chromebook or a Chrome OS device. I guess it doesn't have to be a Chromebook. Are all everything running Chrome OS considered a, a Chromebook? Uh, I, I don't know. I guess they have tablets maybe. I don't know. Anyway, this is again just a quick follow-up. I'm not even going to really edit this besides throwing on a beginning and ending. So I do thank you for checking out. And again, let me zoom in here so you can see this. And it's keyboard. So it's Chrome colon forward slash forward slash keyboard overlay to bring up this little uh, searchable or interactive keyboard overlay. And I tried that on my desktop in Chrome and it did not bring up anything, unfortunately. Uh, I just had to go into settings and go to the keyboard section to see a list of keyboard shortcuts, or you could just Google it. Uh, but very, 
Very cool, I think, this little overlay. So check it out. I thanks for thank you for watching. Please visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.